Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monday's Thought for the Day. On the first Pentecost, Peter explains why the events surrounding Jesus have led to the giving of the Holy Spirit. Peter has just spoken about the resurrection of Jesus, and then he gives two reasons as to why his hearers can be sure that Jesus has actually risen from the dead. First, the witness of the Old Testament, and second, the witness of the Apostles. So Peter quotes from Psalm 16 in Acts chapter 2, verses 25 to 28. I'll read those verses to you. David said about him, I saw the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad, and my tongue rejoices. My body will also rest in hope. Because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, you will not let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. So who is David referring to in this psalm? Well, Peter goes on to explain that, of course, it's Jesus. Peter continues on, verse 29. Fellow Israelites, I can tell you confidently that the patriarch David died and was buried, and his tomb is here to this day. But he was a prophet, and knew that God had promised him an oath, that he would place one of his descendants on his throne. Seeing what was to come, he spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, that he was not abandoned to the realm of the dead, nor did his body see decay. Now David is confident that God would not let his Holy One see decay. And Peter says, don't think that Holy One was David because we know that David was buried in a tomb nearby. No, David is looking ahead to another Holy One, another son of David. David is predicting that a great king will come who would die but would not be left to decay. Peter therefore says that David spoke of the resurrection of the Christ. But it was not in the New Old Testament that bore witness to the resurrection of Jesus but the apostles themselves in the New Testament. So Peter writes in verse 32, God has raised this Jesus to life and we are are all witnesses of it. So Peter is not going by rumour or second-hand reports. He and others wonderfully saw the risen Jesus for themselves. And Peter's explanation of these two witnesses to the resurrection of Jesus, the prophets, and the apostles can give us renewed confidence that the resurrection is really true. God has kept his promise and therefore resurrection hope is truly ours. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please deepen our confidence in the resurrection of Jesus so that we can be joyful in hope and persevere in all things. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Monday. See you tomorrow.